All right. By the way, I have not gotten out of Great Bolt here. Because the season reset like a week ago. And it, I, I always do this. I always say like, yeah, I'm going to get out of Great Bolt here in like a couple of days. And then I just don't play. So today's the day I play. But honestly, if I can't even get out of Great Bolt here with this team, I don't know how long I'm going to do in Player's Cup. <laughs> okay, so we're facing Sunroom Calyrex. Uh, this does not look like the best Absol game, but Choice Banded Sucker Punch could be really good. I think what I want to do here is bring P2. I could go P2 and Groudon on lead, right? Hmm. Or, um... I think this is what I should do. If they end up leading off with Sun, Sunroom's so annoying. Because if they end up leading off a Trick Room, I kind of just lose if I make the wrong call. But if they lead off with Sun, it isn't the worst. I think what I want to do is predict the... It's going to go for the best of both worlds. That's probably not a good option, though. I'm going to go uh, Groudon Venusaur. We're going to bring Absol in the back. And I'm going to bring Porygon, too. Easy Parise, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Why Lum over AV on Thundee? Uh, it avoids Sleep Powder from Venusaur, and it's also nice for preventing burn. Okay, so they ended up leading off Sun, which I'm cool with. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm actually going to... I can try to sleep their Torkoal. They don't have anything that switches in on that except for Tapu Fini. And I want to assume they go for a Grass-type move here. Like, they could just Dynamax, right? So I don't want to lose Groudon so early. Uh, it might be my best interest... I should have brought Thunderous, man. What's the likelihood I live this? Not high. Go Porygon. Yeah, I should have brought Thunderous. Is it Tapu Fini? Okay. That's fine. That means they went for a Leaf Storm or a G-Max Vine Lash here. G-Max Vine Lash, okay. So now I get to embarrass myself. <laughs> I get to embarrass myself because I'm going to reveal that I'm not G-Max Venusaur. If I was G-Max Venusaur, I'd actually not be in a terrible position here. Yeah, for those of you just tuning in, uh, I didn't have Max Mushrooms to fix my Venusaur. Max Flare, okay. Um, that's fine, I'm Sash. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do something kind of poggers. It's their Weather Ball. Um, I could Trick Room and do that pretty comfortably, to be honest. I'm just gonna go ahead and Sludge Bomb the Venusaur for damage. And I'm going to Trick Room on them. AV Venu? Yeah, probably. They win the speed tie, unfortunately. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Let's see if they're Taunt Tapu Fini. It's Moonblast, okay. Thanks for the follow EM plays. Or EMs play? I don't know. Yeah, it's Weather Ball. But to be honest, the damage output didn't look like it was AV. It didn't look very AV to me. I mean, I mean the damage I did do it with Sludge Bomb. Okay, check this out. I'm gonna go for a Max Quake on the... Um, I'll go for it on the Venusaur. 
And I'll also go for an Eerie Impulse. And that should allow me to live pretty much anything the Venusaur wants to go for. We also get to see how fast this Tapu Fini is. I've only got 12 speed investment on this Groudon, so there's a chance I'll get um, I'll get undersped. It really depends on the Finny spread. Some some people like a lot more speed, but I've always been like a slower Finny. Alright, that's good damage. Muddy Water shouldn't do too much. No accuracy drop two, they go for the Vine Lash. Awesome, 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 awesome. I definitely need to recover with my P2, otherwise I'm in big trouble. Uh, them Dynamaxing the Venusaur actually isn't too bad for me. Uh, and that's because if there is a Calyrex in the back, I actually feel relatively comfortable using Absol for it. I'm going to max quick the Venu, it's pretty safe. Uh, and I'll go ahead and roll cover here. Alright, we still have a turn of Dynamax too. Unfortunately, we're going to take some damage, and why did Poke Shopper just DM me a link? Isn't Poke Shopper like a big website? Am I going to get sponsored? Oh, they just invited me to their Discord. This better be a sponsorship. So, from this range, I should take a Calyrex Ice Hit. I should probably take a Calyrex Ice Hit. So my play here is pretty simple. There's the Unnerve, can't eat berries. I'm going to go ahead and go for a Max Flare on the Calyrex, as well as reversing Trick Room here. Because if they end up protecting the Calyrex for some reason, uh, I'll be in a good spot. Squishy Charizard, how you doing? Glacial Lance. My boy Groudon, thank you. Max Flare. And we don't quite one-shot, but it is... Ooh, okay. Hold on. Tell me you miss your Muddy Water. Moonblast, I can eat that. Thank you. Thank you for the White Herb. Uh, that almost mattered. <laughs> okay. Um, this is actually going to be really close. Our Sunlight Fading is kind of annoying. Because now I don't take the Water move quite as well. And I'm probably going to lose my Groudon. I'm going to lose my P2 though. How can I go about this? I think I just lose now. Absol probably isn't enough to win this. Is that the last turn of Vine Lash? Because that could help. If that's the last turn of Vine Lash, you might be able to do this, but it's going to be really, really close. Because I can lock myself into knockoff. I think Choice Band Player Off would definitely be smarter. That was the last turn. So what I'm going to do here is protect... Bank on them protecting the Calyrex. And I'm going to go for a play rough. And if this doesn't work out, I'm in trouble. So basically what I need them to do is protect the Calyrex. And attack my Groudon with their Tapu Fini. Okay. If Absol survives this turn, I should win. Nice, that does half. Come on. Yes! Okay. Okay, we might be able to win as long as I don't get an accuracy drop. And Absol avoids. Oh my god, this is going to be so close.
Fire Punch is definitely my play. I need to get this high roll. I can't afford to go for Pew Blades. It just doesn't make sense. I need to get the high roll on this play rough. Come on, Absol. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I think I just win. I think I just win now. As long as I land a Prespus Blades, I win pretty much. I think I might have to land both of these, unfortunately. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Alright, um... If they're running Heat Wave, technically, technically my play is to protect here. Well, I guess it doesn't matter in the end. I'll just pre- I'll just P-Blades. Watch them be shook a berry. I'd cry. I'd force myself to cry. Alright, we land the Choice Bandit play rough. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> we got it. Oh, I was gonna... Oh my god, that was so close. Yeah, Absol actually saved that one. I definitely... I definitely needed to, um... Bring Thunderous to that matchup, but Absol managed to save it. <laughs> Why is Absol so bad? Okay, this team's also very weak to Absol, funny enough. Look at their play rough switch ins, they have none. It's also weirdly weak to Groudon, considering everything. Uh, or even just Thunderous in general, they don't like. I think I'll do this. I'm gonna lead off Absol Thunderous. I'm gonna bring Groudon in the back, and my last one's gonna be Venusaur No Skill. Now what I'm hoping to do here is catch the Regieleki on lead without a fake out support, and then I can just sucker punch it for a free KO. You really just gotta buy right after the dude said he had to win three in a row. Yeah. Yeah, that's just how lucky I get sometimes. I'll say this, I'm like the luckiest unluckiest player in Pokemon. Uh, because, or the luckiest unlucky player in Pokemon. Because when I don't need luck, when it doesn't matter, I'll just, like, get so much coming my way. And then, like, when I do need luck, I just never get it. If you miss a Sleep Powder, you got outplayed. Facts. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. Now granted, if they if they go for a reflector, I'm actually in trouble. Um here's what I'll do. I'll get in the Groudon, because it's kind of free. And I'll just sucker punch the Seleki. And if it's not Sash, it's gone. Just want to point that out. If it's not Sash, it's gone. Grimmsnarl doesn't typically run Fake Out, though, because Fake Out Grimmsnarl is kind of bad. It just wants to run other moves, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have it. Just run two Chlorophyll users, one with Sweet Scent, one with Sleep Powder. Awesome. Sash? No. Cool. It's gone. They have lost their Regieleki privileges. That also imply. I'm gonna keep it real with you. That makes no sense. That makes no sense whatsoever. What they just did makes no sense. But somehow, I'm kind of in a worse position than I would have been otherwise. Mainly because I was really hoping I could go for a Swords Dance. Um... But I guess... Wait, hold on. I'm White Herb. This is going to end out... This is going to end up being really funny. I'm White Herb. This is going to be really funny. I'm going to go for a Max Quake. And a Sucker Punch. And if they... 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Because if they go for a reflect, I should still be fine. It's like, because I'm whiter, I'm not gonna take that much. Or I'm not gonna, like, lose uh, much from this turn if they go for a max Wormwind. If they go for a max Flare, granted, that's gonna do a lot, but... I am pretty specially defensive, so I should be able to take it. Unless it's Fake Tears Grim Snarl. But if it's, ta if it's Fake Tears Grim Snarl, I actually feel a little bit more comfortable. Okay, that did about 30. Oh, they are fake tears. Okay. Is this fine? Probably fine. <laughs> because I have the white herb, I forgot. <laughs> okay, yeah, I love this. Is this the base department? I have a Groudon to report. <laughs> Dude, white herb is the way for Groudon. I always forget that it doesn't just deal with Intimidate. Oh my god. Hello, base department? I'd like to report a Groudon, ignoring fake tears. Okay, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> and it's an Urshifu. That's even funnier. Um... How many turns of sun are left? I would assume... I mean, obviously Urshifu is the thing I'm more concerned with, so I'm just going to max quake it. Three turns left to harsh sunlight. Uh, let me get out of here. I'm going to get in my Venusaur. So, the fact that the Regieleki didn't have the Focus Sash has the implication that the Urshifu has the Focus Sash. Do I take a Wicked Blow? Yeah. Critical hit, of course, as always. And the spirit break doesn't really matter because I'm just going to sludge bomb. They can sucker punch an another crit. Okay, that still doesn't matter. I kind of have a pin on this uh, Urshifu. Because it doesn't matter what they do. They can go for a protect, they lose it. They can go for uh, a sucker punch on anything. They still lose the Urshifu, and then I just win. There's the taunt. <laughs> they really thought I was going to sleep powder here? Give me one reason I should sleep powder. Tell me Groudon's eyes don't look like a lifeless shark. They kind of do. They kind of do, to be honest. And my nose itches because of my nose ring. Sag. And I would just... If I were them, I'd just forfeit here. I'll make a deal. I'll give two subs right now, but three is outplay whether... Sorry, but three is outplay whether you win or lose the next battle. Guaranteed to play the next game and gamble for three. Okay. I mean, regardless, I get two subs. <laughs> I'll take the two subs, man. I always get a built to, I get, yeah. I always get a bit tilted whenever Wicked Blow and Surging Strikes get a crit, and then I remember that they always do. That happens to me. That happens to me. I'll see a crit and I'll be like, ah, yes, of course. Of course that happens to me. Of course that happens and then it hits. Like, I'm just like, of course that happens to everyone who this move hits, so... Whatever. Alright. Um... So this actually looks like a phenomenal... A phenomenal game. Thank you for the sub again. Phenomenal game for Absol if I can get rid of that terrain. Hmm. It also looks like a great P2 game. What I could do... As long as they're not running um, Hyper Beam, like I'm pretty sure Absol just deals with the max move, regardless. What I could do here is lead off Absol and...
Do I go Absol P2? I think I go Absol P2 Groudon Venusaur. Yeah. I've seen Hyper Beam Calyrex. Max Strike hurts, dude. I definitely got conned by those secret agents she's played against. Yeah. You don't understand, I have plants all over the ladder. If I wanted to get number one, I would just have to hit them up and ask. Astonish Calyrex. Yeah, dude, man, like, honestly, like, I just like when more people get into VGC content creation, especially when they, like, make it consistently. My whole thing is, like, I will help out anyone when it comes to growth because I want VGC in general to grow. So whenever someone, like, is making consistent content, I'm like, yeah, go watch them. Jin, how you doing, man? It's going awful. We're using Absol, so it's not going well. Both of our modes are kind of stuffed here, since there is a very obvious taunt coming my way. Um, I could try to get in Groudon here. I could try for Groudon. So assuming that they're just going to attack the uh, Absol here. The question is, do they Airstream or Lightning? Because they should always taunt, right? I could Sucker Punch just for damage and hope that that does something. But I'd rather keep this guy around for later. Yeah, I'll go Grout on here. And, uh... Oh, crap. That's the wrong order. Oh, my God. This isn't going to end well. This isn't going to end well. I think I did it. I think I did it. I might have. Please. Okay, I did it. I did it. Oh, that was close. That was close. <sighs> oh, I didn't switch in Groudon. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that uh, if I switched in Venusaur on the P2 slot, I was in even worse trouble because then I wouldn't be able to actually go for the Sleep Powder. Okay, maybe this will somehow work out. Max Knuckle? Okay. No, this is still doable. This is still doable. Do I have a special attack boost with my P2? I, it's not like I can... Uh, yeah, they're probably like, why'd he recover? Because I ran out of time. Um, I do have a special attack boost, but I don't feel comfortable giving them in a, like a plus two off of that. All right, I have a very jank way of winning this, and you aren't going to like it. First of all, I have to just try for the Sleep Powder. I have a very jank way of doing this. I'm going to go for the Tri Attack here. And as long as they just Airstream my Venusaur, I might be able to do this. Because what I'm going to do on this next turn is very controversial, but also very brave. I'm going to Sucker Punch and go for a Max Strike on that thing. <laughs> I'm going to Sucker Punch and go for a Max Strike on the Thunderous. Maybe if I'm lucky, I get a burn off of this. Or a Freeze. Alright, that did a lot. Because of the crit. Alright, Absol, your time has come. Sucker Punch into Max Strike should do it. And honestly, I might just Nene on them with this Porygon. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. This isn't gonna end well. I can feel it. What if they knuckle the Porygon 2 here? Imagine. Thank you for your contribution, Absol. You will now die. Oh, they knuckled the P2. 
Uh, maybe... I mean, it depends if they went for the Moonblast now. Goodbye, Absol. Goodbye. Such a garbage Pokemon. Makes me sad. <laughs> I just got here and the first thing I see is a Max P2. Yeah, uh, turn one I made an awful... I, I had a pretty bad lead and then I tried to switch to fix it. But I only got one of the Pokemon in, so I had to improvise, and now the P2 is Dynamaxed. Hey, but now I'm not taunted, so what's up? There's the Indeedee. Okay, I have an idea. So they can't go for a Fake Tears or anything? Alright, that's an issue. I think my play here is to try to Swords Dance. I can also just protect and max strike the Whimsicott. I'm just going to protect a Max Strike. So the reason I'm Max Striking Whimsicott here is because I need to make sure they can't taunt me. They go for a Light Screen, okay? Expanding Horse. Actually, I might be able to just win this since they can't taunt me with terrain up. But this is going to be a really awkward endgame. I'm going to Swords Dance here, and then the next turn I just go for Protect and Trick Room and Hope. Hey, they forgot too. Critical hit on P2 might matter in the end. Actually, I might have messed up by targeting this thing. I kind of hope it doesn't go down. With the light screen, it shouldn't, though. Okay. Yeah. I should be able to win now if I can connect my my Max Quakes, or my uh, Presbus Blades. All right, you better live this. Porygon 2, if you don't if you don't do this, I'm going to cry. Hard. Like embarrassingly hard. We already saw it with Psychic Seed and Deity, so we should be able to do this. As they Tailwind, makes sense. Come on, tank the hit. Take the Expanding Force, please. Psychic Train's up so they can't actually taunt me. P2, thank you. Thank you, P2. <laughs> okay, now I P-Blades. And go for the Recover. I might just try attack. I think I just try attack the Indeedee here, to be honest. Hey, the burn. Now just connect both. Oh, it's slower. I forgot that that was a thing that could happen. I should have recovered. Please be Life Orb Calyrex. I'm gonna need you to be Life Orb Calyrex for me, bud. <laughs> I'm gonna really need you to be Life Orb Calyrex, bud. Because if you're not, I just lose. How much does plus two do to Calyrex? Plus two P-Blades.
Let me check. I still have some time. So I have 28 attack at plus 2. Uh, Groudon. 28 Adamant plus 2. If Fire Punch KOs, I click it. Calyrex Shadow. Fire Punch doesn't always KO. I have to P Blades. Dang it. I connect. Don't be Sash. Don't be Sash. Yes! <laughs> okay, we just managed to get that one barely. Yeah, that was a really awful lead on my part. Apologies to anyone who thought I was better at this game than I am. <laughs> that was an awful lead.